Global inflation has been rising. In particular, we saw a 2.4 percent jump in global inflation just for the month of April. So it's not just a U.S. based story. The reason that matters is because of all the supply chains that are now reopening and prices around the world. We still import a lot of things into this country. And as you can see on the screen right here, we've got shortages across the country, whether it's bacon or coffee or I found out a couple of days ago, bicycles, believe it or not, are in short supply. Yeah, and I I really think that's a trend that very well may continue because you are going to see all of these inputs coming in and things like commodities prices. We're just noticing it in our day-to-day things like the grocery store. But also, we were just looking at the employment report, which just came out, and it is showing that we have a really tight labor force right now, which is going to lead to wage inflation, and that will lead to further inflation. So I actually very much in mind we're going to continue to see this trend happening, and it's just really important that you make sure you have things like inflation hedges in your portfolio if that does, in fact, continue. And I do agree, I don't think the Fed is necessarily gonna change their stance right now. But I think what's more important is you actually wanna watch what the bond market is doing because they're gonna start pricing in inflation long before the Fed does anything. So just make sure you're prepared before inflation happens, not after. But I do think that that global trend that you're mentioning is happening. That's kind of a leading indicator we're going to see come down to prices down the line. Summer is, is underway. You've got summer sticker shock in full effect right now. This weekend, we might see it get even worse, as this will be the first uh, weekend that we're going to see possibly the full effect of the JBS cyber attack at grocery stores with meat, with chicken, with pork. Yesterday, we spoke with a California-based deli owner. He had to shut the deli down because of high prices. Listen. For us, this is not a labor-related issue. This is a supply chain issue. I've learned about how centralized the supply chain is. We have a big, huge gear now, as opposed to a lot of little gears when there was a slaughterhouse in every region. It's a big gear. So I just want folks to remember that this is not the end of the world, but it just takes longer for that big old gear to get grinding. And uh, I have full confidence we'll be out there. Yeah, I have to echo that. I think it's going to take a while for some of these supply supply chain issues to weed themselves out. And it really is kind of um, this snowball effect where it's going to affect one industry. Those prices are going to increase, which is going to affect another. So, you know, as it fixes itself, you are going to see that kind of down the line in other industries. So this will take a little while to weed itself out. I would agree we're probably looking until at least the end of the year. Um, but definitely worth keeping our eye on here as we keep getting more reports coming out showing how the inflation is, in fact, impacting the economy. Mm.